Okay, uh, this is part three of uh, the review of the new Ram 1500 uh, DS. DS, I think that's what it's called. Um, I'm sorry, ST. Anyway, um, I uh, started doing some logging on it uh, because I'm going to be um, tuning the truck here and then offering up tunes for other people uh, with the same truck. Uh, I'll get more power, better reliability, better fuel economy, blah, blah, blah. Um, and so on this, I would say I, I do have a lot of complaints, which uh, are good, at least for when it comes to tuning, because there is a lot of stuff that can be fixed, changed, or made better. Uh, one of the big things is, is Ram recommends 89 uh, octane, uh, but they say that you can use 87 octane. Um, so the truck, I have been putting 87 in because, well, here in Wisconsin, fuel is stupid expensive compared to the rest of the country. You know, obviously not compared to California or Florida or things like that, but it's about 40 to 50 cents higher than it is in, let's say, Texas. Um, so anyway, uh, 87's a no-go. Do not put 87 in your Ram, regardless of the fact that it says it's okay to use. Uh, I have as much as 8 degrees of knock retard at points. Now, most of knock retard are in low RPM situations that have high load, such as cruising on the highway at, let's say, 65 to 70 miles an hour, and you start to go up a hill. But the hill has a small incline, which means that the RPMs only slowly raise, which kind of lags the truck before the truck down downshifts. Now, if it was an abrupt hill where it all of a sudden it was like, oh, shit, we're going... oh bad oh crap we're going uphill uh at that point the truck would downshift right away and you probably won't see any knock issues uh, but it doesn't really work like that in most of the country it's usually a gradual incline um which does cause knock and like i said it's about eight to de eight degrees of knock retard now with that being said um the other place that it knocks is during light acceleration um light acceleration there is five to six sometimes even seven degrees of knock retard and by light acceleration i mean speeding up when you're pulling out onto a regular road uh speeding up to get on the highway uh it doesn't really matter any place where you're accelerating where the foot pedal is not on the floor you will have knock retard now with that being said you also have knock retard um at wide open throttle so one of the problems uh, that you're going to have with most stock vehicles is that the power enrichment is really crappy, meaning it doesn't give you any extra fuel until it's usually too late. Um, so that's also something that needs to get changed. Uh, basically, what I can see from here is that a few, few modifications to the timing table, um, which is actually kind of crappy, and a few modifications to fueling, um, the truck could easily see two to four miles better per gallon. And on top of that, easily uh, 25 to 35 wheel horsepower, if not more. Um, they're very, 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 um, I don't know if you want to say detuned. Um, they're basically meant so that they get you decent emissions, decent mileage, and you don't risk breaking your vehicle. Now, that doesn't mean that by getting a tune, you're going to break your vehicle because there are tuners who know what they're doing um, that can tune your vehicle so that it is reliable. Uh, you don't have to go crazy. You don't have to do anything like that that would cause your engine or transmission to fail. Uh, but there is room to work with. So that way you can have a better running vehicle, a more reliable vehicle, and better fuel economy. You know, when people complain, they're like, well, you, don't, you didn't buy a truck for fuel economy. You're right. Yeah, you don't buy a truck for fuel economy. But no matter how much money you make, um, I would rather fill up my Ram at 500 miles than fill up my Ram at 350 miles. Uh, right now, I average about 13.7, um, and I fill up every 390 to 420 miles, uh, and it kind of sucks. You know, I put on more miles than that in a week, so two, three times a week I have to fill up, and, uh, you know, it gets annoying. It's not super expensive, but it's borderline uh, price with my built Cummins that I traded in. Um, I have not had the leak in the rear window. Um, I have not had actually any problems with the truck since the last few videos uh, i put in the led headlights and they get a little bit of fog in them as well but it disappears pretty fast um you know car washes and things like that um and um led taillights no issues there um let's see what else um uh, for those of you who got the k2 package 
um, from Rocky Ridge on your trucks. Uh, they come with these stupid brake caliper covers on them. And uh, the dealership did a rotation for me a few thousand miles ago. And the actual weights that are on the wheel to balance it are rubbing on the calipers. So I have this really annoying wow, 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 rotational sound um, that I just haven't got around to. I'm probably just going to yank the caliper covers off. Uh, they kind of look dumb, but I'd say that's it. Um, you know, subscribe, stay tuned. Um, I'll be posting more information as we go forward with tuning it, uh, with the power, how it drives, everything from there. And uh, that's about it.